Good afternoon and welcome to AW Services. In today's video it's a bit of a, a product review on a battery charger. I've had this now for over a week and I have used it on many occasions during that time. So I feel that it's time for a bit of, of a review and a talk about its features, its pros and its cons etc. So the battery charger in question is the Clark IBC15 India Bravo Charlie 15 available from Machine Mart, various other suppliers online, Power Tools Direct. Price varies from around £49 up to £60, so there are some bargains to be had out there when searching for the charger. But a very good little charger. It's not super heavy duty in respect of its build. It's a very consumer based product made out of ABS reinforced plastic mouldings. But overall, it's very good. So with the charger from Clark, I've had many Clark products and I cannot fault the build quality, although they are generic and there are other versions of this charger in its style available from Sealy and many other brands use the same manufacturer. However, this particular charger, well packaged, um, very good. Just hoping the autofocus on this video is fine. A very good in-depth intuitive instruction manual warning you of all of its safety precautions as you would normally expect with any kind of appliance but being a battery charger you always need to make sure that when charging a battery it's in a ventilated area but if it's a lead acid battery that's sealed and plugged then you don't have that particular problem but always look at a battery as a possible explosion risk so always have that battery in a ventilated area it may be in a battery box but they make sure that it's not covered and free moving air can get around that battery to avoid any explosions so that pretty much covers its safety features so the battery charger is an intelligent charger so it means it's got a brain and a microprocessor built within it so it's very good for charging a range of lead acid batteries, car batteries, uh, leisure batteries I've said. Again it's only a 12 volt output so you won't be able to charge 6 volt motorcycle batteries with it or 24 volt truck batteries or dual circuit batteries with 24 volts primarily as the main battery. But with the intelligent charger it runs through a series of steps within the charger to get it charging. But this manual, this charger and its specifications are available online. So if you wish to look it up before purchasing, you can do. But with the charging process, step one, checks that the battery has connected with the charger and also checks the battery voltage. Step two, desulfation. If the battery voltage is too low, this step automatically generates a pulsing current to remove sulfate from the battery. Step three, analyze. Check if the battery's voltage reaches the threshold after desulfation and charging begins if the battery voltage is okay. So if you have a completely knackered battery, this charger will sense that it may or may not charge that battery. But I've put it onto a battery that I was given from a Renault Traffic um, two years ago that was reportedly flat. However, I've put it through this charger and it's charged perfectly and the battery resting voltage after leaving it for 24 hours to rest was 12.8 volts. So 12.7, 12.8 volts in my experience denotes a fully charged battery. Don't get confused with vehicle electronics and alternator outputs of all the old 13.8 volts and so on. That's part of a charging system in a car. This is different with a charger. So after it analyzes, step four, it then does a soft start, charges with constant current. Step five, bulk, charges with a constant maximum current until the battery voltage has reached the threshold. Number six, absorption. 
gradually declining current charge for the battery's maximum voltage. Step seven, analyze. Testing the battery can hold a charge. And then you've got step eight, maintenance. But it's very good manual, some very good pointers in there. Different charging settings that are available. So this charger will output uh, 12 volts at two amps, 12 volts at six amps, 12 volts at 10 amps, and a maximum of 12 volts with 15 amps for higher current. So it, the amperage is selectable on the main control. It also has a boost voltage, which it clearly says this unit can aid the starting of a car. I personally wouldn't want to ever try to use that option because you're putting too much drain on the charger and it could damage its microprocessor. That's my own, own evaluation of that really. But a very good in-depth supply. This will charge up to, as listed, a 400 amp hour battery. So that covers most of the leisure batteries out there. But looking at the unit, it comes in a, a an injection molded uh, clamshell case. It's a two part case. It has your normal three pin British UK 13 amp plug fitted. And that roughly is about 1.5 meters of cable. It has with it a very good quality conductor cable size and two crocodile clips again around 1.5 meters in length. My only gripe on the quality is the crocodile clips could be doing with some grip molded into them because the design and holding them and trying to put them on a battery in most environments is quite awkward. The other thing about it is the plastic over molding pretty much covers when closed the battery contacts so getting good continuity onto the battery posts is something you need to check it would have been nicer if it had less plastic more metal these generally are a tinned copper so they're not the best in the world but you get what you pay for they can also do with some more protruding side edges to cut into the battery with some serration teeth would have been better also, during the manufacturing process on these, they are crimped as part of the cable retention system and they are also spot welded. I don't know if I can show this on the camera, but the wiring inside has been spot welded. Continuity and the way it's been put together, I point that out as something that's going to fail quite quickly. I would personally cut that out myself and solder it but again you don't want to damage your warranty so on the back of the charger it does have a very handy storage compartment for the cables to be stowed away when not in use it is also fan cooled so when the charger is running at its absolute maximum the microprocessors the circuitry the transformer inside does generate some heat so that computer style fan in there, 100 millimeter fan, will help dissipate some of that heat. On the back of the charger, very handy. It actually has a 12 volt auxiliary socket on the back. So you can, in theory, test various car electronics, dash cams, car assorted vacuum cleaners, if they still exist, with the use of the 12 volt socket. However, that 12 volt socket is only rated to 7 amps. Still a considerable amount of current, but 7 amps only, so be mindful of that if you use it. On the back, it's usual safety details. Input voltage, output voltage, 12 volts, 2, 6, 10 and 15 amps with a selectable 15 amp boost. 12 volt socket at 7 amps. Charging battery capacity, this will charge your battery from 2 to 400 amp hours. It's an IP20 rated enclosure, 1.5 kilos in weight. Uh, it's also double insulated, so it's only a, a common and neutral in the plug. But overall, very well put together. For the purpose of the video, I will 
remove the leads out the back and put those inside so they're hidden. And now with the battery part charger turned on, it comes up with P12, the fan in the back is running, and then you once it's connected, you can also change the current settings once it's done its tests and so on to get it working. But overall, I really like it. It's a very well put together unit, very easy to use. The best tips about battery chargers, anything like this, don't leave it in your garage to get damp. Don't allow the moisture to get to it because it will lessen its lifespan. The inside electronics get damp um, with this being a intelligent charger and the microprocessors and the circuit boards and chips inside will start to corrode and you will experience faults of that in due course. But very, very good. It is the Clark IBC 15. It does have a very good parts list. So obviously replacement parts apparently are available because it shows the parts list, but Clark are very good at adding that. It's full specification on the back and some very good troubleshooting guides and also an assembly guide of how it's put together. So it obviously shows some serviceability, but a very good charger. But I thought I'd share that with those out there because it may help people looking for a charger. It may help anyone that looks after vehicles, maintaining batteries, camper, caravans, motorhome conversions, window cleaners and associated trades to charge batteries and their vehicles. But it's very good. So if the video has helped you and you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel grow. I'm not into YouTube for money and I do not make a penny from YouTube. However, I enjoy making videos, enjoy helping others to see other things out there and to share my own personal independent evaluation and opinion on certain items as well. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'd greatly appreciate that. And until the next video, thank you very much.